Hello, I'm John Celentano. I'm a business editor at Inside Towers. That's a daily newsletter that covers the wireless infrastructure building. I tell everybody towers is in our name, but we cover all aspects of digital infrastructure from towers to fiber to data centers, small cells, in-building wireless power, and um, uh, lots going on in this industry. So it, it keeps us busy even on a daily basis. My chapter is entitled Sustainability at Cell Towers. That's obviously an area of focus for me and something that we know a fair amount about. I read the Greener Data Issue Volume 1 and I was very impressed with the content and the, um, the direction that it took. But I noticed uh, that it was, it was very data center centric. And I thought <clears throat> we need to contribute something that will include other aspects of digital infrastructure such as towers um, because it's an ecosystem it's all tied together um, towers to fiber to data centers all the traffic that comes off the towers ends up in data centers so i thought a contribution that would relate to the tower aspect of the digital infrastructure would be useful and informative the uh Chapter covers uh, the size of the tower market. Uh, we estimate in the United States, there's about 185,000 towers that are used by the, the cellular carriers. That's about 10 times that internationally. And that doesn't even include 2 million towers in China that are um, state owned and operated. Yeah, every tower has um, the mobile network operators as tenants. They install their radio equipment and antennas to broadcast signals over the air to our devices, our, our smartphones, and that takes up a lot of power. So when you extrapolate the numbers of towers times the numbers of tenants on those towers and the equipment that's being used and the power required at each site to run all of that, it, it adds up to pretty significant proportions of power consumption and drives a lot of considerations as to how do we sustain that how do we make that more energy efficient and how do we meet some greenhouse gas emission goals uh, there's actually um i talk in the chapter there's three partners if you will uh, on the tower there's the tower company itself that owns the tower and the land under the tower that's passive infrastructure there's the mobile network operator that installs the radio and the, and the base station equipment to uh, broadcast and receive signals to and from devices. That's all active equipment and re requires power. And then there's the manufacturers themselves of the radio equipment and the supporting infrastructure that uh, are, are all contribute to uh, making cell sites very t uh, power efficient and, uh, and, and sustainable for the future. So um, I tried to encapsulate that in my chapter to demonstrate that there are other considerations um, in within the ecosystem outside of data centers that need to be looked at and need to be addressed by the operators and how to um, how to drive a, a very uh, energy efficient operation greener data was a very interesting publication i, I read not all the chapters but most of them and I found um, I found them enlightening. It's a, it was it's an area of the business that I don't spend uh, an in depth amount of time, but I do follow what's taking place at data centers. But I found the insights by the various authors to be interesting and informative. And as I mentioned, I thought that what was missing, or what would be a nice complementary piece at least, would be to look at another component of the digital infrastructure ecosystem in a similar vein. And uh, I thought that the Greener Data publication was uh, an ideal venue for that and offered to uh, make a contribution. I made a proposal, it was accepted, and I went ahead and produced the, uh, the chapter that talks about sustainability at cell towers. Clearly AI, artificial intelligence is going to be the buzz for the foreseeable future. 
It has implications across the entire digital infrastructure ecosystem in terms of the volume of data that is needs to be handled and processed, in terms of the power required to do that processing, and just in terms of the investment and operation of that infrastructure on the part of the various players, whether it be the data center operators, the fiber companies, the uh, uh, tower, tower companies, and their mobile network operator tenants. It just has major, major implications across the entire ecosystem. I've, I've seen some presentations where they suggest that artificial intelligence will drive the requirement for data processing and power associated with that about five times what it is today in the next two, three, four years. So it's an it's certainly a, a topic that we're following closely. It has major implications and we think that um, it'll probably be the main driver for this business across the entire digital infrastructure ecosystem, uh, certainly in the near term, but really it's a, it's a long-term play. I've heard some presentations, uh, you know, drawing an analogy to a baseball game and saying we're only in the first inning. And that may be true. I, th I think it is uh, still evolving to know exactly where this will go, but uh, clearly the implications it has for uh, businesses and enterprises and companies uh, that are in the infrastructure business is, is pretty significant. Uh, I, I saw a quote recently from Mark Ganzi, who's CEO of Digital Bridge, which is the major, major player in digital infrastructure. And he said, as we see it, data centers are becoming AI factories with data as input and intelligence and insights as the output. Uh, and really delivering that intelligence and insights is going to be predominantly to the edge, whether we think of uh, the edge as uh, our smartphones and mobile devices or, or, or laptops or, or computers that are fixed or stationary. That is the real implication of how this will all play out, that uh, we have this tremendous need to uh, First of all, data consumption is increasing, mobile data consumption. Uh, are we as individuals use something in the order of 30 gigabytes a month on our smartphones. That's projected to grow 50 to 60 gigabytes in the next two or three years. Uh, all the data processing that takes place at the enterprise level is uh, escalating. And um, all of that will drive the need for increased investment and better more efficient operation of the digital ecosystem. So it's uh, a topic that uh, I think will, will predominate the discussion of uh, where we're going in this business uh, over the next, certainly in the next two or three years and probably for the long term.